pastime. I see you'll never become what you were meant to be. Darkness rises. New on Daybreak, the Indiana State Museum and IMAX Theater are preparing Star Wars fans for The Last Jedi. 24 News 8's Julia Dang is live at the museum with more on a special Star Wars scavenger hunt. Hi, Julia. Hey, Drew. So this large-scale citywide scavenger hunt is underway. It started yesterday, and let me show you what everybody is looking for. There are 12 of these mugs. One of them is going to be hidden somewhere around the city every day. And we are here this morning with the IMAX theater manager, Craig Mintz. Now, tell me about the designer behind these mugs. There is a very local angle to how this all came together. Yeah, he he goes under the name Indie Mugs. Found him on Instagram. Uh, but basically, he's a Star Wars fan. He loves ceramics. So in his free time, he actually will make these mugs. And what he does is he actually hides them around the city from time to time. You can't buy them. Uh, he just puts them in odd spots, and you follow him on Instagram, and you go look for them. So how are people getting these clues? You release clues every day, and there's only one mug being hidden every day, correct? Correct. We're actually going to follow his lead, and what we do is at 11:30 every day, we're going to hide one of these in the city, and then we're going to on our Instagram, IMAX Indy. Um, you can actually get the visual clue and a little bit of an extra clue as to where it's hidden in the city. And let's just take a closer look now at these mugs. These are beautiful. Where where did you find this artist? Uh, you know, being a Star Wars fan myself, and obviously the algorithm in social media, he started to pop up in my Instagram feed, and I was fascinated by it. And I too have been trying to find one, uh, unsuccessfully, unfortunately. Uh, so I just reached out to him and I said, "Hey, can we adapt this for the IMAX? So we've got a, a big movie coming up." Uh, and he he loved the idea, so that's kind of where it all started. And yesterday, that the first one of the 12 mugs that was hidden, that one was apparently found in, in just a couple minutes. Where was that hidden? And, and can you share that clue? Uh, yeah, we actually hid it at Coat Check Coffee on Mass Ave. With it being some mall business Saturday, we figured it would be fun to be where everybody's at. Uh, and yeah, we had dropped a couple of subtle clues on that one beforehand because it was the first one. And I think a few people had figured it out, so they were all kind of swarming the area. Uh, but we were able to, to hide the mug and get the clue up. Uh, and within minutes, somebody had already grabbed it. <laughs> within minutes. And of course, it's not a rule, but just a suggestion. If you find one of the mugs, you know, let other people go and find the other ones. But hey, you know, diehard fans, they can still go and, you know, aim to get all 12, right? There, there are no hard rules when it comes to that. No hard rules, but take a friend with you. Let your friend find it, and then maybe you guys can share it. But yeah, we want to share the wealth. Because uh, in addition to the mug, you also get uh, tickets to a screening of Episode 7. We're going to do a private secret screening of Episode 7 in the IMAX prior to Episode 8 coming out. And you also get a print of another local artist. His name's Gabriel Deshaw. You get a print of his work as well. Wonderful. And like Craig mentioned, every day the clues come out at 1130. But today, here on Daybreak Only, we are going to give you one of those clues. That is coming up in our next hour. For now, Drew, back to you. All right. Some exclusivity for our Daybreak viewers. Love it, Julia. Thank you. <laughs>